You see? Again, I am repeating. The thoughts, the words, action, results, consequences. Next step also there, consequence. For example, the war creating countries now. There, before war and the suffering is the consequence. Because of the war. War is a result. Before the war called action, there were men on the war field making an action to make a war. Go back. There were dialogues. What to do on this situation? Make a war. There is a decision means dialogue. Words. Before the dialogue, what happened? There is a thinking and there is a thought. Thought shooting area. But up to this we are stopping our exercise. No. <laughs> we have to go a little back. From thought, where it is coming from this kind of thought? Creating a war. Now we have to look into Okay, so there is a source called consciousness, there is a source called divinity, whatever you call, that's a source of everything. You know? From that source, thought arises. Please understand. This is, this is important to be understood clearly. This is what happening with you, with me, with everyone in the world. Every moment it is happening. This camera, this is a camera. You know, you are picturing it, this video. In between there are process, you know. There is a land, there is a light, there is a darkness, there are so many things. Same way an action is happening. Like a picture, like a video. And the consequences. Now you see, there is a big source. Of light. Without light, what is the use of this camera? Please tell me. You may have many <coughs> mechanisms there. Suppose there is no light at all here. What will you do with this? It's useless. <laughs> That's why it is called, camera is called light, <coughs> it's called light material. In Tamil, beautiful word is there, Oli, Oli Padivu. Oli means light. We are recording, videographing only the light. That's the meaning of camera. If there is no light, no camera. Camera is like the action in the world, which you are seeing. Suppose there is no light, what will happen? Same thing. What is that light? Here, this is the light for this camera. The whole world is a camera. Understand? You are seeing good and bad. Right? But what is the source? The light. Now let us see. That means, God is creating all the bad thing in the world? The question comes. <laughs> this is a problem with many people. Why if it is God exists in the world, why God is making a war in the world? Why so many people are born with a default? No legs, handicaps, polio, all these nonsense are happening. God is not there. This is some people's ignorant statement, idiotic statement. God means light. God means consciousness. God means awareness. How will be it will be absent? If it is absent, will you be there, first of all? <laughs> will there be any mobile here without this light? Same thing. It is ignorant. I don't know about myself. I am saying no God. Because of that light only you exist here, you say there is no God, no light. If I suppose I am saying there is no light here, who said there is light? That means only a blind person will say like that. There is no light when the light is there. That means ignorance to the core. To the core. Now let us see. Here is a consciousness. Consciousness, no boundary. Light has no boundary. Light is love. Love is awareness. Awareness is consciousness. One and the same. It is also the silence. It is bliss. It has many names. The light has many names. You see? From there, all thoughts are arises. And thoughts are surviving in a particular 
period. But it will period only to survive, to go. Another thought will come. No thought stays forever. Have you observed that? <laughs> like every moment is changing. It was 3 o'clock, now it is 4 o'clock. You can't stop it. <laughs> Same way, thought flow is happening. One thought comes, another thought. Now, we catch a certain thought, we talk. We are not catching all the thoughts. That means talking. And then we make an action. Now let us see between this area to this area. Forget about this. This we know. Known area. This is unknown area. Spirituality is an unknown thing. This is a known thing. Words we know, you know talks we know, and we know action, we know the result, we know the consequences, everything we know. Because we can see it by the physical eyes. By common sense, we know there is a thought. But thought between the thought and the consciousness level, what is happening only we don't know. Unknown area. Mysterious. It is called mysterious. Mystery. That's why one who is realized, we call that person as a mystic. He is a mystic. For example, I am sitting here. I am not a philosopher. I am a mystic. I know what is happening between this and this. One who knows about it is called a mystic. I am not a philosopher. You know where philosophers are living? They are living from thought level onwards. They are living in thought and thought and thought and thought. They give opinion, opinion, idea, idea, notions, notions, philosophy, philosophy. That's why I hate philosophy. I am not for philosophy. I am for truth. Child play. Philosophy is a child play. Now you see consciousness and the thought between this corruption is happening. There is a corruption. You understand? Please understand. This is a very important area I am discussing. Thank you all for triggering me to talk about this subject. You see? See, the consciousness is called God. It's divine. From the divine only, every thought arises. Fine. Very good. But in between there is a mediator. There is a mediator. Now I am answering your question. Now I am answering your question also. You know, it's not, the, 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 the thought is not originally coming. It's coming from originality. But it is not, when it reaches to thought level, the originality is lost. Please understand. Very minute point I am discussing with. You need sharpness and presence here. Don't go somewhere else. Be with me. Understand this concept of creation of thoughts. In between, there is a corruption. Pollution happens. It's not pure. When it started, it was so pure. Every thought, the starting point is pure. But before it becomes a, a concrete thought level, there is a corruption happening. You know what? Where is a corruption area? Mind is a corruption, corruption area. <laughs> mind is an utter corrupt. <laughs> you know what, what kind of mind it is? There are different kind of minds. Varieties. You know what is the meaning, other meaning for the mind, the corrupter? Sanskaras, karmas, vasanas. You know what all these things which I am saying in Indian languages? It's nothing but what kind of temptation I have in my life. It's a temptation. Instincts, instinct is in between. If I have an instinct of animal here, the purity coming from the divine is corrupted as an animal linked thought. Then it goes as a thought which is carrying an animal quality. That means what? Unconscious. To killing. Animal's character. No? 
Animal has got a, animals are killers, do you know that? They are the best killers in the world, animals. They have kingdom, animal kingdom. You see, the small animal is eaten by the next bigger animal. That animal is eaten by another animal. That animal is eaten by the another animal. Finally, lion is the king of the forest. It will eat the whole process. <laughs> so every animal is eating themselves in a group of things. Small animal is eaten by the bigger, the bigger, the bigger. Finally, tiger and lion. Same way, same way, the instinct, the vasana, we call it is vasana. Instinct means there is an urgency in the mind level to do certain activity like this. For example, war making. That, that fragrance will be there. War fragrance will be there in the mind of the person who is making. The color. The color of the mind is war making color. And someone become a thief. A thief making mind is there in between. Before the thought comes to the action level, it is corrupted. The thought is corrupted. No purity. You understand? From who it's corrupted? From, from this mind level, mind, another consciousness. Ah, okay. Okay. Everything is consciousness. Okay, okay, okay. So nothing is beyond consciousness. Another consciousness level, level of consciousness. Okay. Animals also go to, got some consciousness, you know, in its own way. They have Functioning. Consciousness is nothing but the root of functioning. From that only gives an energy to function. That which gives energy to function we call consciousness. Even the plant. Plant has got its own consciousness. No? But why we say God is the biggest thing means that's the ultimate consciousness. It is diluted. When it comes to another level, it is diluted. Simplified. Brother, you know, so that force of something is corrupted by this another, another, it t- changes into another type of consciousness called the vasanas, the fragrance, the instinct in which the person is born the, from the previous birth. This is karma. I carry an instinct in my being as a uh, thief, as a war maker. As a Hitler, or a Mahatma Gandhi, or a Buddha, whatever it is. This only, this place is different. If your vasana is like a Buddha, Buddha kind of vasana, it, it, it is not corrupted, it just goes like a divine action. That thought will be Buddha-like, and the words will be Buddha-like, action will be Buddha-like, and the result will be Buddha-like, divine. Divine action. It's called divine action. Now let us see how the devil is coming. Devil and devil and God working in the world. Can I just? Yeah. Also die die Frage, die gestellt wurde, warum das wie entsteht dann das Böse? Ja, das hängt dann oft auch mit der Aussage zusammen, wenn es das Böse gibt in der Welt, wo ist dann Gott? Ja. Und Gott ist aber überall. Also wir wir würden gar nicht existieren, wir würden das gar nicht sehen, so wie die Kamera, ja, die nur mit Licht funktionieren kann, können wir hier nur sein und sehen, weil es eben das Licht des Gottes gibt. Das war der Ausgangspunkt. Und dann aus dieser Quelle, die Bewusstsein ist, die Gott ist, die viele Namen hat, steigen alle Gedanken auf. Also alle, alle Gedanken, die es gibt, die es gibt, kommen aus dieser Quelle. Und ähm, auf dem Weg aber von der Quelle, ähm, zu den Gedanken im Menschen und zur Tat äh, passiert eben eine Verschmutzung, passiert eine Korruption. Ja, also das nicht mehr, nicht mehr Gedanke, also wir haben den ganzen Tag, wir haben ja hunderttausende Gedanken. Ja, und wir können aber nicht jeden aufnehmen und wahrnehmen, sondern treffen eine Selektion daraus. Ja. Und diese Selektion, die wir treffen, äh, ist abhängig davon, wie unser Mind gestaltet ist, also unser Verstand als als kollektiv alle Gedanken, die wir jemals hatten, oder eben unser Instinkt. Ja? Und wenn jemand jetzt den Instinkt eines Liebes hat, oder den Instinkt von Buddha hat, oder den Instinkt ähm, eines Mörders hat, dann wird er aus, diesem ganzen, aus dieser Ganzheit der Gedanken, die möglich sind, die da sind, genau die passenden heraussuchen. Ja, es ist so eine, eine Verkleinerung 
äh, des, des göttlichen Bewusstseins, das, das passiert eben. Also in jedem Menschen, aber auch in den Pflanzen, die zum Beispiel eben auch einen anderen Instinkt haben oder Tiere, die einen anderen Instinkt haben als wir Menschen. Und also dieser Instinkt hängt dann immer von der, vom letzten Leben ab und das bezeichnet man dann immer auch als Karma. Ja. Das ist <laughs> so, the birth and death happens between this area. Birth and death. For example, a being is taking a birth, you know, there it is decided what kind of thoughts it is going to have in its life. Will it going to be a divine thought oriented person? or a devil thought oriented person. It has been decided here. When the birth is started, or individual, individual are coming in between here, birth and death, you know. But, when you take this birth and death, is a long period of 70 years, 80 years or so, even though the person born with an instinct of animal, or a bad these things, there is a possibility of changing. Please understand, I am explaining the whole humanity. <laughs> I am scanning the complete humanity. <laughs> That's why I say I challenge to everyone, I have a solution with me to change the world. Please come on, come and sit in front of me. I will give you a solution. Don't worry, don't try other things. These are all useless. Don't try to change the action. You will not do that. This is what is happening in the world. When the, when the, when the action is bad, they are put into jail, they are put into murder. It is bullshit. <laughs> totally bullshit. That's why I am against hanging. That's not the way. We are seeing only the action. What about the remaining things in the back? You have to do something, some homework here for the person who is involving in this kind of killing or all these kind of things if you really want to change the world. Jail is not the answer. Judge court is not the uh, place. Meditation hall is the place. <laughs> this is what I am working for mass awakening. Please understand. That's why children are the answer because there we can start another Exactly, process. that's why I am interested in young children. Mm -hmm. Before they become terrorists, I want to prevent it. <laughs> <laughs> Before they become a drug addict, I want to prevent it. That's why I'm interested to go to schools and colleges, then meeting adults. Even I'm working with a baby inside the mother womb, a lot of work I'm doing on the fetus level onwards. That's my interest of area, ideal couple program. You know, there we can do something because it is very near to it. It's divine almost, a baby is almost a divine because it's not a corrupted. Please understand where my work is starting. Roko. You must understand what I am doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <You know? laughs> so, with the previous birth, vasana, the balance, the karma, the birth takes place. All right, it's okay. Some babies are born pure as the divine, like Jesus Christ, like Krishna, like Rama. They are born pure. There is no corruption there, pure glass, pure mirror, they are all. They just come like an avatar, saviors, messengers, all these kind of things, okay. But a common child who is not a Jesus or a Krishna or a Rama, it carries some sort of a previous imbalances, mm -hmm. desires. No? It's a desire. Don't think that killing the killer is not, is not a present thought. It's a previous birth thought. He wanted to kill, he did not do that. Now he is doing that. <laughs> Understand? So, the baby in which a capsule is there, psychic being is there, it carries certain fragrance. The fragrance may be of flower, the fragrance may be of a ditch. Both the possibilities are there. Now, it is the responsibility of the baby or the person who is taking birth 
to refine himself or herself. There's no point in complaining the divinity. There is, we have no way to complain the divinity. We have no right to complain. It's our own personal responsibility to refine myself, to change myself. Yes, I'm born with some vasana, with my fragrance, with some desires, with this kind. I don't know where, from where it is coming. All right, let it come. Some people, they feel, why oh, I am so sexual, it's very bad. Where it is coming from, I don't, it's all right. And some people, they have always want to steal the products from others. <laughs> <laughs> some people say, I want to kill someone always, every day, one on killing at least. <laughs> this is an animal instinct is coming up. This is what yesterday we did here, uh, meditation called Cosmic Meditation. This is working here. Understand where I am creating my techniques? My techniques are coming out of this area. How to refine this area? You know, so that everyone can be a divine. Not a ghost. Not a warrior. I am preventing war here. But introducing cosmic meditation. <laughs> I am working in highest social work. I am, my work is the most charitable work in the world, I can challenge. In all levels, in education level, war stopping <coughs> level, drug prevention, every department I am working. Please understand, but my work is very minute. People can't see my work, unless I explain. Now I am have the opportunity because of you and you, I have an opportunity to explain how, what type of work is going on in the name of spirituality. For me, spirituality is not just going and to the temple to do some mantra. It's very superficial. <laughs> it's a transformation, you know. This is a transformation. What transformation means? For me, the meaning for transformation is there is a pure energy from the cos consciousness level. I am not supposed to corrupt it. That is called transformation. I have no right to change my father's being. My father. This is what Jesus says. My father, my father. He mentioned the consciousness as his father. Please understand. He is a born being, born being. His birth itself is pure. See? Now you let us see. The birth happens of different kind, different desires, different instincts of the previous births. Now it's a responsibility of the person to work on himself or herself Okay, these kind of instincts are coming in me, popping up me. What can I do? That's not your originality I'm saying often. This is not you. The sense of over-desiring or a greed or all these things, not your nature I'm saying often and often means that you are carrying from the previous birth or this birth itself, but your nature is divinity. <laughs> now you understand? Now he or she should work on it. He or she should meditate upon. Why am I having such an instinct in me? It's unwanted for me. It's troubling me. Now we have to refine. And on the divine, light will be passing through without any hindrance. Now the hindrance is removed. Suppose here is light, here is a camera. Suppose I am blocking a screen here. The camera will not catch the light properly, the figure properly. <laughs> no, it doesn't yeah. catch it properly. Also, in the Vive Geboren Sinn, with which instinct, that's hanging from all the earlier lives up. That's the camera. And what everyone can do is to react on that. Also, that's the job and auch die Verantwortung 
von uns als Menschen, dass wir das annehmen, was da ist, dass wir auch sehen, welche, welche, welche Bedürfnisse wir haben, ja, die einfach mal annehmen, wie sie sind und uns die aber auch im Licht der Meditation anzusehen, warum das ist. Weil das sind die Dinge, die den puren, den reinen Fluss des Bewusstseins eigentlich blockieren. Und ähm, Transformation äh, bedeutet rein, dass, dass wir eben dass unser selbstgenommenes Recht, diese reine Energie zu korrumpieren, zu, zu verschmutzen, ja, dass wir das wieder ablegen. Ja. Also wir, haben, wir haben kein Recht, diese, diese reine Energie, die durch uns fließen kann, zu verschmutzen. Om Shanti 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 Shanti